Hi, I'm Lakshmi Mandiam from ARM, and I run the server initiatives for ARM. And we're here at the Open Compute uh, Summit. And it's been an exciting summit for us. Uh, many of you may not know that ARM is actually a global IP company uh, that develops and deploys um, IP that is used by folks like Qualcomm, Samsung, uh, Marvell, Broadcom, to name a few companies, uh, and, and now AMD, uh, that they manufacture um, processors based on our technology uh, and our architecture and deploy them to a variety of markets. And in fact, last year, there were about 8.7 billion processors shipped uh, using the ARM architecture. So with that, with mobile um, ecosystem that has also been established, we're now starting to see a lot of interest and drive in, in enterprise markets like networking uh, and servers as, as, they, as they start to face challenges in terms of delivering the best total cost of ownership. And they look to the benefits that the diversity um, that has existed in the mobile market has created in terms of accelerating innovation and choice um, and helping end users in terms of achieving um, better uh, innovation cadence. So our readers are interested in the data center. So how is ARM going to be utilized in the data center? What kind of projects do you see coming in that So we're area? already in the data center because we're in a significant portion of hard disk drives and solid state disk drives that are deployed in the data center today. The other angle that you start to see ARM getting traction in the data center is on the networking side. Um, and recently, especially at this OCP, we've had partners like Applied Micro, um, like AMD, who've announced their intention to deliver um, server SOCs target at, targeted at large-scale deployments in the data center. And the benefits that the ARM architecture brings are lower power, better integration. So, for example, if you have workloads that are very I.O. intensive or storage intensive, like they are today, um, being driven by new um, the demands on the data center, um, they scale better with an integrated solution and a balance between modest compute and, and high performance. And this is where um, we see uh, ARM SOC solutions really bringing an advantage to the data center. And so uh, I think Frank Frankowski said it in the keynote uh, this morning where he said, you know, 2014 is the year that we expect to see a lot uh, of ARM uh, deployments from a certain perspective. So um, in the ARM uh, presentation today, there was an announcement made at uh, OCP. What was the, your news? So as we start to see these large-scale deployments, one of the key things uh, uh, that, is, that is key is, is in terms of the software ecosystem. How do you simplify the software development process and time to market for deployments? And so when you look at that, what we did is we collaborated with a large number of industry partners, including software companies like like um, Canonical, Citrix, Red Hat, Microsoft, Suze, uh, and we also worked with OEMs like HP and Dell, and of course our silicon partners to ensure that we're standardizing all the right things to enable those guys to deploy to market quickly. And so what we ended up doing is, doing is creating a hardware specification targeted for firmware uh, and software developers. So from an application deployment standards perspective, Say your favorite Ubuntu distribution is one distribution for ARM that covers multiple server offices.